Mark Harrison has photographed them all. Politicians, performers and perfectionists. Before I take a picture of anybody, I'll have a quick look online and see what's already been done and then just try and find another angle that just gives us a bit more insight. So, um, uh, photographer Richard Branson I quite like um, because we did manage to crack it. Getting a subject to relax, to drop their guard, isn't always that easy. I did a shoot a couple of years ago with Al Gore um, who was really difficult. Not as a person, he was charming, but it was almost like he'd been briefed by the CIA or somebody not to give anything away. He just was like a rock. He just sat impassively at the camera. I tried everything, including leaning across and grabbing him on the shoulders, trying to get anything, but he just wouldn't give anything away. So I, maybe, maybe I didn't succeed on that one, I don't know. <laughs> His latest project focuses on those who've been awarded the Distinguished RAF Flying Cross. It's just a relief to go and do something where people have got great faces, they've got fantastic stories, they're a generation that have got, done extraordinary things and uh, I just really wanted to record this. Whilst his search for those decorated for their service continues, the list of the rich and famous grows. James Corden, um, James Corden in lipstick, why not? Um, Tom Daly, uh, fantastic guy, amazing athlete. I just wanted him looking iconic, heroic. Doctor Who, I do a lot with that. That's actually a mistake, the lights didn't go off at all during the photograph, but I loved it so much we kept it. For all his published work, Mark says he has drawers of images that he'll never show. He's not interested in the salacious, only faces. Alex Beard, BBC South East Today, Tunbridge Wells.